Hi right, folks, how you all doing? Been getting some fuel. Um, you've probably guessed by the title, I'm doing a six month review on the bike. Turn the on one off. And cancel the indicator. Why not? Got a few things to say. Um, I'll see you when I'm sorted. Just get these buggers on. Hope you're all doing well. Weather's still warm. It's overcast. It's uh, 20 degrees. But I've not been out since Bank Holiday Monday. Um, I was with Sanjay and Andrew. And Andrew's dad. Um, today's. Get my days confused. And we're full again. I'm just going to reset my trips. Not that one. Yes, lad. I think that's all. Trippy, what's trippy? It's all awesome. Yeah, um. I don't know if you saw that it just costs £6 to fill. Four point odd litres. And this is the thing that I say about this bloody, um. Fuel gauge. It tells lies. Up. Ooh, we're gonna have to do a wee bit of filtering. Why don't I feel like I'm just um my lights flash were flashing and it was flashing on bank all day Monday as well. Um And I've travelled about, I don't know, two, two and a half miles to get to that petrol station. And as I say, it's put in, um, show that water in my face then. Almost five litres. Like I said, it was flashing and in the handbook it says when the petrol light, the either is flashing. Um, there's only 1.5 litres in there. Well, I've just put 5 litres in, and this is a is it a 7.7 .7 litre tank? I think that's what it said in the handbook. So that meant if I've put 5 in, then obviously there's 2.7 litres left in. Um, it's fine, bizarre, but anyways, it is what it is. So yeah, I'm just going through all this thing. God, I've not even cleaned my visor from Monday. I've got bug splatter all over it. I'm going to do a six month review on the bike. Uh, my subscriber count now is up to 59 and I want to thank each and every one of you individually. I'm loving the comments and the feedback that you're sending me back. I really, really am. Um, I love each and every one of you, I really do. And I really appreciate you subscribing. Um, you know, I didn't start this channel so that like, I'm looking to have like thousands of subscribers and be this big famous biker I just did it so that you know when I'm older and I've got my grandkids you know and they come around and stop I'm sure I'm seeing spots of rain on my visor you know I can s sit there and go oh, do you want to watch some of granddad's well I want to be called pops not granddad you know some videos and hopefully you know when they're six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and they've what you know they've the because let's be honest all kids have bloody phones and tablets and things these days i hope that they look at them and see the adventures that i've had out on this bike and uh thinks to themselves you know something i'm gonna get a motorbike when i'm older and if i'm still capable you know go out ride out with my grandchildren i'm hoping my son-in-law at some stage is gonna get a motorbike my son said at some point in the future he wants to get a motorbike because he's watched my videos and you know he's really happy with like the laughs that we have when we're out on the bikes and everything and the positive feedback that I give every time I come home you know and I'll be honest with you I would rather now all year round I don't care about the weather have a motorbike over a car any day any day of the week 
I really would. You're just so much freer and yes, you're exposed to the elements when it's cold and it's raining and stuff, but it makes it an adventure. You know. And it's been 30 years since I last rode a motorbike and golly, I wish I hadn't waited this long. Because I absolutely love it. Love it to pieces. So yeah, I'm going to head up to my favourite spot. Um, and do the review. And crazy things. Oh God. Didn't I? Yesterday it was blue skies. It was 26 degrees. I washed this. Dried it. Waxed it. And I mean, I went to town on this bike, I was lying on the floor and wiping under the swing arm and everything at the back where most people just clean what you can see like when you're looking at it when you stood up. I cleaned... Let's car through. Uh, I cleaned uh, underneath my friend Sanjay uh, says that I'm all CD with the bike. But to me, I cannot go out on a dirty bike once I went out when I hadn't cleaned it. And that was basically because when I did go out, oh, my little ponies and a donkey. Oopsie. Do you know, um, and the reason for that was the day I came home, it had been raining and we'd been going through puddles and everything. And if you're a biker, you know yourself, or even if you ride a push bike, when it's wet, all the dirt sticks to your bike. And I knew it was going out the day after and it was going to be raining again, on and off. So I knew the bike, I, just, I knew the bike was going to get dirty again. So I thought, what's the point cleaning it all off just for it to get dirty again the next day? So I just left it. But on that second day, I came back and, you know, I cleaned it. And I just do, I, you know, I, I like looking after my things and it's not just that, it's... I'd rather go out on a nice, clean, shiny looking bike. You know, but that's just me. And yeah, you wouldn't believe it over the weekend up here. Crystal clear blue skies, not a cloud in sight. It was so hot. And I'm glad it's kind of cooler today. I'm trying to find the medium between where it's just the perfect temperature. And I like this. It's just chilly enough to keep you cool. But not too cold, you know, my knees aren't cold or anything like that. My body's not cold. And I like it when it's like this. Yeah, I'd like to have blue skies and it not be so overcast as you can see, but... I just do like it, I enjoy it. Because it's the perfect... I think the weather's saying it's 20 degrees today and alright, if the sun was out it'd be... 22, 23, 24, whatever, you know. But this is comfortable biking weather, I love it. I'm dying to say what I need to say, but uh, I want to get up to this spot. Hopefully there won't be too many people around thinking I'm crazy talking to myself. And I'm trying my best not to make my videos go into like 20 odd minutes and stuff. I should have actually gone quicker along the year. But this is the thing, I'm up to 1,100 miles on the bike, it's fully running now. I'm going to do an oil change in the next week or two. Because um, that's just me, it's the way I am. I, 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 in the book it says do an oil and filter change at 600 miles. I did my oil and filter change at 500 miles, I think it was. Um, but I just want to do one more oil change and then... I'll do another one, perhaps, either towards the end of the year or early on in the new year, as long as it's not too cold. But yeah, I've had a few messages off uh, some of my subscribers. I had one this morning saying that he's gone and bought a seat, uh, one of these. Uh, he lives in Cheshire. Do you know, I'm sorry I didn't remember you know, Do you know, I'm rubbish with names. Um, in the Cheshire area and he wants to have a ride out with us, so we're going to have to sort something out for the future so if you're watching and you sent me that message at 20 i think it was 20 to 2 this morning 
um, you, you'll know who you are and uh, yeah we'll definitely sort something out thank you oh what have we done oh god I hate it oh, if, honestly if you could smell the it's like sewage water and I don't want to go on my back it's all disgust water it comes up my face oh look at them stones I like this building Oh, look at that low cloud. Is it low cloud or is it fog? Is fog low cloud? Is that what fog is? Somebody uh, let me know in the comments, please. Oh, there's another horse there. Lying down. Chilly night, why not? Nice day for it. Ah. I've, I've, I've always struggled with that. Is, is fog just a weather phenomenon or is it actually when the clouds come really low down? Ay, look at those bit of God. See that video I did when I came past us to see and saw the car and if you look how quick they how quick what am I on about? Look how big they've got, how quick they've how, look how quick they've got big. I think that's what I was gonna say. Um but that's mad it was only I don't know, two or three weeks ago I said that. Well shut up. Must be good grass though. Oh, there's a terrible smell. It smells like sewage. God, this was really busy the other day, and I haven't brought, I haven't brought, I haven't brought my camera out, and they were literally coming all the way over here. I'm um, in the boats, that is, <laughs> the, yeah, oh, what a glorious day. So, that. Gonna do a six month review in this. The Benelli TNT 125. Absolutely love it. Honestly, I was so close to getting that new KTM Duke. You know, sat on it and everything. I'm so glad that I didn't. So let me switch it off and we'll uh, get started. And I'm sorry for the other videos I did the other day when I was out. It was that hot. I, I had a hoodie on. I couldn't have worn this motorcycle jacket even with the lot. I took the lining out of it. And uh, I just want to check that this is recording. Yeah, so I, even, I took the lining out of it before I went out on the bike and just had a walk around in my garden and I was just pouring the sweat and some, some creepy clean as bloody dirt there. Yeah, even with these bars being painted this way, paint everything sticks to it. So yeah, the six month review. Now, I got this bike at the beginning of November. I originally order, ordered a Lex Motor Aura, a 125, but they said it was gonna be January because of what's gone on with the pandemic and everything before I was gonna get the bike. And I was on an iron and I was, I was cool about it. And then I was just looking at these on the website and I was just, I want one, so I'll, I emailed them, rang them, and they changed it over for a minute. So the bike, got it in November. It's a 70 plate, I think. Yeah, it is a 70 plate. Um, but the trouble was, it was on and off with lockdowns, and um, the place I wanted to do my CBT was closed. Now, I've been on this bike, it was the beginning of April, so I've done two full months on the bike. And I have to say, such wood, oh, such this wood right here, nothing's gone wrong with the bike absolutely nothing no breakdowns nothing um what i will say if you get this bike from now make sure that your gear lever is in that position because i don't know if you've seen some of my previous videos mine was sat higher out this is on the video and it's caught my bloody engine case in there so i had to lower that down these bolts are notorious well they're not are notorious for working themselves loose so what i did after i just did this I just put some uh, thread lock on, you know, they've got nylon nuts on which are supposed to stop them from working themselves loose but as an extra measure I put some thread lock on as well. Also 
Um, and to be honest, when it was PDI'd, that should have been covered. Um, here's me trying to find it. This brake lever, when I used to press it from me, used to come all the way down here. And it was disconcerting, it really was. So what I did, I undid this knot. And this bar here, look if it's on, you just twist it that way to the left until you feel a bit of tension and then I rolled the bike backwards and forwards just to make sure that that rear brake wasn't binding There's dust on it, I've only been out on it two minutes and then tighten that back up um, but other than that, the bike is fine um, a lot of people have asked me about the tyres now, the carcass, this bit is the nylon stuff this is actually rubber, but it's very it's a very hard rubber it's, it's like if you rub your finger against the car tyre oh, I'm trying to do my jacket really humid so like you've got your bike next to your car and you rub your car tight and you rub that you, you'll feel the difference in the hardness it's a very hard rubber um the rear suspension which you know if you own one of these bikes you don't um they're adjustable i didn't get the adjuster tool with mine so my friend andrew he adjusted it lowered it down a little bit it's made it softer but i I think I just want it a little bit more softer because it, it's really, really hard. The seat, I've always said in my videos I'm 16 stone, I've actually weighed myself this morning. I'm down to 15 and a half stone, I'm trying to lose the pounds. After a few hours, it does slightly get uncomfortable. It'd be better if, you know, if you if you know a trimmer and they can put like memory foam in your seat and make it even thicker, then yeah. But after a few hours, it's very uncomfortable. For an hour or two, it's perfectly fine. The lights, I can't comment on. I've not done a night ride on it yet. Um, and I'm not going to do that, folks, until we start getting, you know, when it starts going dark earlier and stuff like that. But it's something I really want to do. I want to test the lights. Um, brakes. Brakes. The brakes, for me, perfectly fine. Like I said, I relied more on the front brake in the beginning because that back brake was just lousy. But now that I've sorted that out, the, brake, the brakes are fine. Um, they're not the best in the world you know, but they're sufficient for the bike. Um, anything else? I did notice some rust yesterday. Like I said, when I was cleaning the bike, you can see down here, I was getting down here, all down there, trying to get into every nook and cranny to get dirt out. I've missed a few bits, but it is what it is, isn't it? Um, where was I heading with that? I did a bolt check yesterday. Nothing's come loose in the 1,000 miles, well, 1,100 miles now. Nothing's whipped its way loose. Um, what I would say, if you do get this bike now, please stick to the owner's handbook for that for 600 miles. Try your best to keep it under 5,600 RPM, but like I said in one of my earlier videos, sometimes it's impossible. But it says, don't go above it for prolonged periods of time. How long a prolonged period of time is, that's up to you. Um, but I went, you know, I, I went through the book. But don't, don't get me wrong, there were times, like, I went well over that, you know, going up hills and stuff. Because you just need to. Because the engine's running tight, so... Some hills now I can go up in fifth, whereas before I had to some you know sometimes drop down to third. So that just shows how tight the engine's running. Um, I've given it a, a couple of the last two tanks when I filled it up, I've put super unleaded in. It does feel more peppy, but at the petrol station I've just chucked normal regular unleaded in. Um, and as I said, I've not had any problems with it. You know the only problem I had in the beginning, if you watch one of my earlier videos when it was in my house, my battery. I, I didn't start the bike in the house for about four or five days over the Christmas period time. And it was just flat. So at first I bought a... What did I buy? I bought a battery charger. And it wasn't... Play but anyways, eventually, somehow, somewhere, it sorted itself out. And I've had no problems with it since. So yeah. Um, what can I say? It's just a fantastic bike. It really, really is. And... Uh, I highly, highly recommend them. People have been asking me, oh, should I get one for a for spike? And I tell you what, you will not be disappointed. They are so much fun. I've even had guys who ride bigger bikes sitting on it, you know, when I've been up to Rivington Barn and stuff. And they're like, oh, these are great. And for filtering, there are filtering machines. And I will say this as well. These things will get, you know, they'll, they'll do wheelies for fun. There's been a few times when I've set, away, set off from lights you know, and the front wheels come up, and it's even come up in second gear. But yeah, I've had no problems with the bike. I think it's beautiful in that colour, but it's each to their own. You know, 
and I just think for the money, I think they're up to 2,000, are they up to 2,500? You can still get the Euro 4 ones for around about 2,100, 2,200, but I think the Euro 5 ones are costing more, and the Euro 5s are even more restricted. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to mention as well before I go. Fuel-wise, um, I've just put 5 litres in. The light had been flashing for two days, um, so I presume... It says in the handbook there's only 1.5 litres left. I think it's more 2 litres are left because I've just put 5 litres in and it's filled it. Um, off that, so off, what, 5.5 litres or whatever, I've done 180 miles. And there's, there was roughly 2 litres left or 2.5 litres. So I think these things could do well over, I don't know, 220, 230. Uh, 230 miles on a full tank quite easily a lot of people said they're only getting 150 and I, I don't understand that but I'm getting well over that on a full tank and like I said I don't know if you saw at the beginning of this video um, I reset my uh, trip and that had literally I think 180 miles on I'm just going to shut up while this girl walks past I just think I'm some insane moron <sighs> So yeah, um, I reckon if you rode it very, if you rode it gently, you'd probably get over 250 to 260 miles on it. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, if there's anything I've left out, if there's any questions you want to ask, please don't hesitate to send me a message. I respond to all my messages, I think. I think I've responded to all of them. Pretty much sure. So yeah, thank you for watching, folks. Take care of yourselves, and as usual, you know, take care of each other. Bye now.